very important for me to make the NBA just because I put everything into it. I basically put um, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of effort um, into this. So it's not going to be the end of the world if I don't, but um, it will be you know, that much sweeter if it happens. Scotty Reynolds. Reynolds to the rim. Brings it in. Pick out Reynolds. Hits another three. Three of the shot clock. Reynolds. Oh, goodness. Scotty Reynolds is a rookie point guard for the Springfield Armor of the D-League, the minor leagues of the NBA. Just last year, Reynolds finished a stellar career at Villanova University. After four years, Reynolds finished as the Wildcats' second leading scorer with 2,222 career points. He was also an AP First Team All-American and led Villanova to a Final Four in 2009. In an age of one and done, where players stay one year and head to the NBA, Reynolds stayed all four years and picked up valuable lessons from head coach Jay Wright. It's a great learning experience. It, it kind of set my foundation for, you know, me as a man and, uh, and me as a basketball player. And, um, I take a lot of the teachings that Coach Wright has taught me and the, the learning experiences, the good and the bad, um, you know, every, every day in life. And, you know, he teaches you about life. Um, teach you about basketball and you know, try to you know, combine, combine the two. And, uh, you know, I think about those things every day. After a successful career at Villanova, it was time for Reynolds to set his sight on his dream. June 24th, 2010, New York City, site of the 2010 NBA Draft. Even after one of the better collegiate careers in recent memory, Reynolds sat and waited for his name to be called. With the first pick in the 2010 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select John Wall from the University of Kentucky. With the second pick in the 2010 NBA Draft, with the third pick, with the 15th pick, with the 29th pick, with the 58th pick in the 2010 NBA Draft. At the end of the night, 60 names were called. Scotty's was not one of them. Tough day, but at the same time, I was prepared for it and prepared to keep keep working hard. Now every time I go out there with a little chip on my shoulder, and I've been doing that you know since high school. So basically, nothing nothing has changed for me. Still got that chip on my shoulder, still working hard, still trying to get um, to that level I want to get to. Going undrafted left Reynolds with an uncertain future, but for Reynolds, this wasn't the first time his future was uncertain. Scotty was born in Huntsville, Alabama on October 10, 1987, to a single mother without a job. Scotty was soon put up for adoption. As an infant, Rick and Pam Reynolds adopted him. This was a significant move in Scotty's life. I'm adopted, and uh, so I, I really never had my real mother, my real father, so, um, you know, my, my parents at home. To me, I've been everything to me. They've supported me in anything and everything that I've done. And, um, they're kind of like the backbone of, you know, of, of my success. After adoption, young Scotty's uncertain future became clearer. It appears the same is happening with his basketball career now. Currently, he is averaging 18 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists in 9 games for the Springfield Armor. Despite not being drafted, many in the basketball community feel he has what it takes to make it to the NBA. I think, I think what Scotty's going to have to do because he's a small guard uh, is he's going to make shots. He's going to make open shots. He's going to have to guard uh, and lead the team. I think he, he, he certainly is very, very good at leading the team. I think that, uh, you know, that several teams will be looking at him uh, you know, while he's playing here. And, uh, I would not surprise me to see him with the team 20 years old. Terrence Williams, who attended college at Louisville, remembers playing against Reynolds in college and believes one day they will play against each other again, only this time in the NBA. There's no way you know, that, that, that kid shouldn't be on the NBA roster. You know, uh, he knocks down open shots, he plays defense, he's not selfish, he's, he's quick for his position, he's strong, you know, uh, he rebounds, he comes from the Big East. So I was just telling him to keep, keep doing what you're doing. You know, 
just stayed out here shooting, you know, and you know, if any smart team is smart, you know, they would definitely, you know, pick it. If and when Scotty Reynolds gets called up to the NBA, it will surely be a very exciting and emotional day for him and his family. I call my mom, man. She probably cry, I'll cry. Hopefully that'll just be another step. Nice beginning. And with the way he's playing right now, that day should come soon.